done plenty of flipper rebuilds on Bally Williams machines, and but I've never done one on an older, so early solid state machine. This Stingray has got some weak flippers. It's a great game if you can rip the spinner, but you can't if your flipper's weak. So I've gone ahead and bought uh, the flipper rebuild kit. I actually got this one from RTBB in Australia. There's plenty of people out there that sell them. It's a particularly good one because it includes all the essentials like your bushings, coil stops, springs, leaf springs, all the washers and screws, and then the uh, plunger. So I'm going to get that in, replace these on both these, both the flippers, and hopefully you can get those uh, flippers ripping a little bit better. So before we get up, get started, let's get into the game and have a look at how bad the flippers actually are. So let's have a look at how bad this one is. So it just makes it to the top of the Not that many spins. Let's try again. So it's it's just weak. So let's see what we can do to get that fixed. Those weak flippers, set sort that out. So I flipped it over very carefully, propped it up so it's not actually resting on anything too precious, fragile. So this in fact is the left flipper, this is the right flipper. I've taken pictures of these. So to get started, I'm gonna take the coil out first. Okay, just remove the two screws at the back. That comes out. We have a look at one very mangled coil stop. So let's compare the coil stops, the new one versus the old. So I mean that is mushroomed. It looks terrible. So that's clearly an indication that this needs to come out. The sleeve actually comes out quite easily, but we'll give this a good clean. Now, what we'll do is we'll get... For this I need an Allen key. There we go. That's worked a bit better. So that comes out, that'll lift up at some point, so that. oh there's two of them, there's another one on this side, that'll do it. Okay, so there you go. Now the flipper bat comes out, and another classic example of a fairly mangled piece of hardware here. So, pretty happy that we're going to be taking that apart. So, that goes into the tray of goodies that's going to be thrown away. Okay, and let's get the bushing off. One. Two. Three. Okay. So 
that's pretty worn. So that's gone too. So now all we're left with is you need to take this off uh, and these just these two screws down the side. Seem to be some spaces in there. I don't know if that's part of the the leaf switch or not. Let me get this out. So the only soldering I'm going to need to do here is on the leaf switch. So there's some spaces here, but I don't know if they they seem to be attached to the leaf switch itself. And the one on the other side over here, you can see they don't have these spaces. So they, this is just a an old style one. Now let me get the new leaf switch on. Okay, I had a look at the pictures, and you'll see that there is a long side and a short side of the switches. So the short side goes closest to the coil stop, which is what it is on this side. But I just wanted to double check. Okay, so I've given this a bit of a clean. I'm just going to put the leaf switch in. As I said, the shorter side goes on the inside, closest to the coil. So let's just put these in quickly and then I'll solder it on. And you want to put it in so that the bow, this little metal bracket, the little bow is facing outwards so that when it tensions in it secures it better rather than it it being causing an issue when it's not tight instead of being concave so let's just get that in screwdriver Okay, that's on and secure. Let's get some solder. Let's desolder this one wire at a time. fresh blob of solder on here let's put some fresh solder on here Second one.
So that's the leaf switch soldered on. Now let us get the bushing. You can compare the old versus the new. So that goes in like that. New bushing. Put our three screws back in. Now, so let's have a look at, now I'm going to just choose the right paw because they are different from side to side. So, clearly, so you can see they're different. This is the correct one, that's the matching one. That's obviously for the other side. So let's put this away. Okay, so I'm ready to go. I've got a cloth with some naphtha on. I've just been reading Vid's guide and it says clean off any wax that might be on here. So that's that. And then give this a good clean. So just cleaning this off. Okay, so I've got this paw, I've got the spring that goes in like that. There's the coil sleeve. That's gonna go, the little spring goes over it. Again, so it's bowing outwards and that gets pushed up against there. Spring goes in. Okay, and then we've got the new coil stop. Get our two new screws. For the coil stop screws, I just use some of this Loctite. Okay. So. A bit of the Loctite. And it's really easy to make a big mess on this stuff. So you have to be a bit careful. Before you tighten it too tight, you want to make sure you get the other one in first. So, again, a little bit of Loctite on the screw. Okay, 
Okay, I'm re tapping this little bracket up very nice again. So I, I couldn't find what the little plastic ring that's included in the kit, and it looks like it's this exact size, could fit on top there. I just don't see the point. Couldn't see it being used online at all, so I'm not going to use it. So I am going to just install this as is. So we'll come back afterwards and adjust the switch. It's really important to get the gap right. So I'm gonna do the second one now. I'm just gonna do this at full speed. Um, might speed it up, save you the time and effort. But here goes. That's You gotta be careful you don't tighten these too tight because they do break. So be very careful. Okay, that's that. We need the new port. Bring for full stop. If anybody knows what these little plastic rings are for, please put them in the comments. We'd love to know. But I've got my pieces. I'm going to give this a clean with naphthol. Got the new plunger, apparently there's some wax on these from time to time which means that it gathers dust. So give those a clean with naphthol. Uh, that then goes on. Spring. Goes in like that. We've got the little spring washer. We've got The wires going this side. We probably want to do the, the switch first though. Make it easy to get in there. So let's do the switch quickly. You can see how burnt these uh, these leaf switches are. Really are done and dusted compared to the new ones. So let's get these off. So I've put a little bit of shrink wrap on that I'll slide up once I'm done. Uh, the other one had it on one of the sides. Just apparently the short circuiting of these can be quite a problem. So I've done that. Uh, so let's get these soldered on. Start again.
That's a much better solder than the other one. Let's see if this works. Let's slide that shrink wrap on a little bit. It's going to be a bit tight, maybe. Let's give it a bit of a age old lubricant. on so okay that's there we've got our two screws new screws I'll, I'll coil stop new one that doesn't seem to need to adjustment like the other one Second one in, and I'm pushing this up to get a nice, clean, tight fit as I tighten it. it looks like I might have an issue here because the thread might have gone. This one here doesn't seem to be tightening particularly well. Now that's a bit of a bugger, but I'll see what I can do. I might have to be able to put a nut on the other side of this, so let's have a look at that. I've got my box of nuts out and my 8.30 seconds. Um, nylon nut. And I'm going to try to see if I can get this in and secure it with that. Um, so let's see how I go. First thing first, I need a knob magnetic item to get it in there. So I've got myself a little skewer. So I can see it now.
Okay, so I've got the nut on this side. Screw on that. And now I'm just going to tighten that through. Just hold the screwdriver. So that really is tight now. Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm going to take off these ones. Put the coil sleeve in. That was stupid to forget the coil sleeve. Okay, coil sleeves in. Spring washers in. Okay. Let's put a bit of Loctite on here as well. There's one. Tight on a second. Crisis averted. We are slowly but surely getting our way to finishing this one off. That's a bit more problematic than the other one. Again, let's wipe this off. Make sure we've got no grime on there. This in goes the spring. Let's screw this base plate in now that we know that we've got our coil stop in securely. Four screws. One. Three. Oh, that's all securely in place. That's beautiful. So now we've got it all in place except for, we just need to refit the flippers. So let's get the flippers. I've got the flippers, my hands are dirty. I don't want to get the rubbers all dirty, so. Need to be loosened, so 
Let's loosen that up. So I know I'm going to have to adjust them, but I'm just going to tighten it so that it doesn't fall out. Just tight enough that it'll stay in. Loosen this one now. Let's zoom out. Okay, so we'll loosen these as well and pop these in. So those are now done. Um, and we're going to put the play field back over. And then what we'll do is we will go and adjust them from the top. Okay. So um, I've gone in, I've adjusted these and then tightened those two little Allen keys. It's a bit fiddly to show you while I'm doing it, but let me turn it on and see if this works now for the first time. Let me adjust this to see if we can get the snap. <coughs> You can see how it's traveling. So let's let's have a go and see what happens. Let's firstly see if these work. Oh, maybe we should start again. Left. They seem pretty snippy. That seems much better already. Let's see what it does with the ball. Here we go, let's see if we can rip this spin out. It seems... It seems a bit better to be honest, um, but I think that the right flipper is stronger than the left flipper still, which may be a, fun a function of the uh, uh, flipper button switches, which is the last thing, or maybe some of the connectors, but it's definitely better. I mean, you can see it's, it's really a snappy, but this seems to be a bit, doesn't seem to be, Yeah, the, the right flipper is definitely stronger. This one, not so much. So look. I'm gonna let that ball die. So it looks like that's definitely helped. I'll go and check the next things which, but those flippers definitely needed to be rebuilt. If you like this video, you can subscribe, you can click like, 
can leave a comment if you know what those little plastic washers were for. You can stay in contact by subscribing to find out what I, how I get to the bottom of this eventually and slowly but surely fix this game up that I got. Thanks very much for watching and goodbye.